to multiply radicals, we need the index to be the same. And if it is, we multiply the coefficients together. Then multiply the numbers underneath the radicals together, called the radicands. And the last step is to simplify this product. So our first example, we have the cubit of 36 times the cubit of 90. Since they're both cube roots, this is going to be equal to the cube root of 36 times 90. And now we could find this product, but since we'll look at the prime factorization of this product, in order to simplify, it's going to be less work to find the prime factorization of 36 and 90 rather than the product of 36 and 90. So we'll start with the prime factorization of 36. And we'll start with 6 times 6, and 6 is equal to 2 times 3. And for the prime factorization of 90, we can start with 9 times 10. 9 is equal to 3 times 3, and 10 is equal to 2 times 5. So this product would consist of all of these prime factors. So we'll have the cube root of 1, 2, 3 factors of 2, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4 factors of 3, and a factor of 5. And now that we have the prime factorization of this product, we can easily identify the perfect cube factors, which we'll simplify. Here we have three factors of two, and here we have three factors of three. The circled part will simplify, the part not circled will not simplify. So we'll have a factor of two outside the cube root, and a factor of three, and then we'll still have the cube root of three times five, which is 15. And since two times three is equal to six, we have six times the cube root of 15. Let's look at our second example. Notice how the indexes are the same. So we'll multiply the coefficients and then the radicands. Two times three is equal to six, and then we're going to have the fourth root of 24 times six. Again, we could find this product, but since we'll be analyzing the prime factorization to simplify this, we'll go ahead and just find the prime factorization of 24 and six. Well, 24 is equal to four times six, 4 is equal to 2 times 2, and 6 is equal to 2 times 3. And of course, 6 is equal to 2 times 3. So now we can rewrite this as 6 times the fourth root of, we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4 factors of 2, and 1, 2 factors of 3. And because we have the fourth root, we're looking for four equal factors, which we have here. So this simplifies, and three times three doesn't. So we'll have six times, this simplifies to one factor of two, and then we still have the fourth root of three times three, which is nine, and six times two is 12, so we have 12 times the fourth root of nine. Okay, I hope you found these examples helpful.